everyone, it's Bella. And today I'd like to talk to you about the Aries full moon horoscope of the 20th of October 2021 at 27 degrees of Aries. What is coming to a fruition point or completion in the area of Aries in your chart? Now this full moon is highlighting this area of your chart and during the next couple of weeks you may find yourself a bit more emotional than usual, impulsive, easily reactive and more emotionally demanding and it could be harder to reach objectivity in dealing with others. Be careful not to demand more than you can give in return. This is a good time to be Become more conscious of your current closer or one-on-one -on -one relations and how you operate within them. You might also find you might require an expert's opinion on something or help or cooperation from someone. Don't go at it alone currently. If you do need advice, please go and get it. Some conflicts and issues with the law can be more common with these placements for some. The ruler of this moon is Mars, currently in Libra, conjunct the Sun, and partnerships, close associations, and attraction to the opposite sex or love interests are highlighted. There can be a tendency to act in opposition to one's own interests here, therefore do get counsel if needed. Pluto, direct now, and Capricorn is also making a T-square, to the sun conjunct Mars, both in debility, and the moon which can bring much pressure internally and externally. In some cases, it can bring difficulty with people in authority positions, or your superiors could demand account for something, and in severe cases, abuse of power. Be aware of possibly being easily angered, or arguing just for the sake of arguing. You could possibly be susceptible to emotional power struggles and manipulation with intense emotional responses. This can be a more accident-prone transit if you act impulsively. So take a step back if you feel upset and deal with it when you have calmed down. This can be an opportunity of growth for emotional self-investigation. Be prepared for machinery that could break down with these aspects and avoid possible dangerous people and situations. Mercury is sextile Venus and trine Saturn during this lunation. And it will do you well to surround yourself with nature and art and beauty of simplicity at this time, taking in the purity of just being in the moment and grounding yourself in order to lighten any pressure you might be under, as you might be more focused and seriously thinking about important issues at hand. But your ability to be organized and able to concentrate is much stronger now. There's clarity here and you can talk to loved ones about how you truly feel. The sun in Libra is also trying Jupiter in Aquarius, just turn, turned um, direct. So we could possibly go back to um, previous legislation and regulations. We could become very aware of our goals and those of the group and working together, helping each other out, making improvements that serve the whole. It could be easy to let opportunities go to waste with the good feelings that come with some of this energy. Therefore, utilize it well. There is a very beneficial aspect for positive changes and results in your affairs as it provides support. Mars is also trying to Jupiter, which assists in making decisions with the bigger picture in mind. Just make sure it is in your best interest as well. Of course, we also still have the year-long Saturn square to Uranus aspect of tension between the old and the new restriction versus freedom, and the challenge of breaking free in an area of our lives that seems to have been taking quite some time as we navigate radical change without 
destruction. We are becoming more aware of the spiritual aspects and importance to our lives than merely the material. Where is it in your life where you need to individuate more and stand in your truth and authenticity, even when opposed and labeled unpopular? With Saturn also trying the North Node of Destiny, the self-discipline and practicality of this aspect assists as added support to persevere, overcome, and achieve ambitions. Stay level-headed when opposed and use the true power of love as your magic wand. Keep moving forward and stay positive. You are not alone and together we can light the way. The following organs could be more sensitive during this lunation period. The blood, arteries, penis, tongue, the head, teeth, muscles, gallbladder, Surgical operations are not recommended during this full moon if they can be avoided. This full moon is also in the nakshatra of Ashwini, a horse speeding towards healing. And this energy can be deeply transformative, turning darkness into light. But in order to reach the light, we must first overcome the darkness. Now the inside degrees for the ruler of this moon, Mars at 23 degrees of Libra, a tremendous boulder hovering over the ocean. Collective cycles are everything here. You are caught between worlds, part of many, belonging to none. Changes are imminent. The air is buzzing with future currents. No rest, no quiet, no continuity. You verge on astounding things, held poised at the edge. You feel propelled by destiny to obsess upon where we are all now, where we came from and especially where we are going. Gathering impressions toward the harvest, staying tuned for further developments and knowing it's gonna come any moment now. I can feel it rising up. I will leave you with John 11, 25 to 26. And Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they may die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. May the sun shine bright on you this day, and may there be blessings coming your way. Until next time.